my guy. All right, so today we're going to be talking about mermaids. I've been getting a lot of questions asking, are mermaids real? And are mermaids mentioned in the Bible? All right, so these are the mermaids that they show on TV. And these are the things that they want y'all to think they look like. But there is truth in a lot of these movies. Mystical creatures are actually real. Do not think that they only put them in movies and shows for no reason. They actually got these images from somewhere. Peep why they say only 5% of the ocean has been explored. So what's behold of the 95% of the ocean? Now in the book of Judges in the Bible, read the story of Samson. Now the whole story is basically about defeating the Philistines. But at the end of his life, Samson took down the Philistines' god, Dagon. Now I know y'all probably wondering, what does Dagon got to do with mermaids? Yeah, he was actually part fish and part man. Now, in Psalms and in Daniels, he talk a lot about sea monsters and sea beasts that arises from the sea. Now, mermaids are actually sirens. In the movies, they try to make y'all think they're these beautiful little creatures that just have the voice of an angel. But in reality, they're this wicked creature that's really ugly. And they actually do have a voice of an angel, but it's used for a very demonic reason. Now, y'all know like in the movies, they had Ariel scene to reel in the prince. Like her voice is so amazing. Yeah, that's kind of true. They really like these ugly creatures with fins on their leg, but they use their voice to lure men in and to kill them, actually. Now, a lot of people came up with the theory that they believe that sirens are actually our ancestors that jumped off the ships when being enslaved. Some people believe there's a difference between mermaids and sirens. Some of them good, some of them bad, just like humans. There's a gray area. But mermaids, sirens, are actually women that the fallen angels came down here and defiled, taught them things that they was never supposed to know. The fallen angels started teaching creatures to be together. Fish and humans, horse and humans, and the list goes on and on. Which created sirens? Part human and part fish. Now listen, if CMOS got 92% of 102 minerals that humans need, and the skin between our fingers and toes are webbed, and we developed inside an amniotic sac of fluid for nine months, not using our lungs to breathe in water. It can be said that we actually evolved from sea creatures, from what the fallen angels have did down here on this earth. According to the Bible, there is actually a water creature named Leviathan. No one has seen it, it's a water serpent. And guess why no one has seen it? Cause we only discovered 5% of the ocean. A lot of y'all don't like to believe that there's actually stuff out here that they actually put into the movies because they know that it's out here. They just don't want the world to really know what's out here. They put the truth right up in our face and play it as if it's just a cartoon or a movie. But in reality, they really sneak in the truth in. But I want y'all to know that mermaids are real and they are not the pretty faces that y'all see on TV. And giants are real too, but we ain't gonna speak on that just yet. <laughs>